Hi, I'm Nikki Milan Houston, and I'm the writer, director, and editor of the film Goose Town. Hello, my name is Christopher Rohrbeck. I'm the director of Moon Miner. And I'm Shahira Mansour, and I'm the producer of Moon Miner. Hi, my name is Hannah Skierbeek, and I was the cinematographer for the film Umbilical Cord to Heaven, which is screening as part of the experimental programming at Cine Youth. Cine Youth is like an offshoot of Chicago International Film Festival that specifically targets filmmakers age 22 and below. And it just gathers the best of those uh, films that they've received and shows them off, gives networking opportunities to young filmmakers, and it's just a great experience. It's gonna be one of like the most historical ch uh, Chicago theater, which is gonna be exciting. And yeah, we're excited to like meet a bunch of young filmmakers just like us. Goose Town was based off of a lot of diary entries that I had written, and then I worked with the actress to kind of find a way to improvise off those diary entries. And it follows a mom and her child, and she's kind of going through this frantic, nervous breakdown trying to find the father of her child. And she does that by going to a foreign small town and using a bunch of different pay phones to try to contact the father. Easy. Easy. That's going on the progress report. Well, Moon Miner is the story of Ludwig, who's a 22nd century spaceman who mines cheese from the moon. <laughs> Uh, when he's assigned to a partner that's a robot built to replace him, it's his job to sort of like come together, build a relationship with technology, and forge a new future with man and robot. Umbilical Cord to Heaven is told through a series of vignettes depicting several different people in the Philippines calling upon ancient deities and mythological creatures to be made present in the land again. So it's very much a merging of past and present and kind of shows the ways that the country has this constant connection to a rich history. It is a no budget film. Um, we were lucky enough to be in this place traveling around and have the equipment with us. Um, but really, like, we just did what we could based on where we were. I approach this film the way that I approach my experimental work, um, which is really diaristic and kind of more of an essay film format. Uh, so I took, I wrote the script in a night and we shot the next week, so it was like very like run and gun, guerrilla style shooting. We wanted to try our best to make an epic sci-fi in the knowledge <laughs> that no matter how hard we try, as students, it's gonna be campy, and knowing that that's gonna be the final product. So there wasn't any point in the process where, you know, in this challenge that we wanted to take on, where we thought, yeah, this is gonna look perfect. This is gonna look like interstellar. No, we're gonna try our best. We know it's gonna come out a little campy, and we're gonna enjoy it along the way. It's definitely given me the tools and the people um, I needed to make films. Um, like I can shoot films but you know I definitely needed my DP and I definitely needed my production designer um, and like the community that I found here is is really incredible. Columbia uh, like a lot of film schools really gives you a lot of opportunities to meet other people and sort of like break your comfort barrier and I know when I came into Columbia I was very shy but now you know coming out to LA I feel like I'm endowed with a sense of courage that like students need to like make it in the industry. And I think the great opportunity with festivals is you get to meet uh, other filmmakers and start building that community even further in a way that a lot of people don't get to do right out of college. I think that's important for filmmakers to do because, you know, outside the comforts of film school, there isn't many opportunities, I think, to meet other filmmakers unless you're actually in the business. And it's kind of hard to even break through into the business. So just getting your name out there and being able to meet people. It is such a crazy feeling. Like, we worked so hard on this project. All of us are a team, and to see like our little baby, little school project going to like a festival is like I can't even believe it. And I don't know I just cannot wait to see it on a big screen. And that would be that would make me feel great. <laughs> but definitely, this is probably the biggest 
festival I've been accepted into. Um, it feels really nice, especially because this is like a very personal film of mine. Um, it wasn't one that like was made at the school, so it's nice knowing that you know someone likes the work that I'm creating um, when I like not led by faculty or having advice from um, the school. I think a lot of people, especially in film school, just decide to put all of this time, money, and energy into making something, and then sometimes they don't even show the fine cut anywhere, and they need to. <laughs> like, you have to put your work out there. Um, even if you get rejected at festivals, it's all about just like getting your name out there. Someone might see it, you might not get accepted, but you never know what opportunities could come from that.